Oh, good afternoon. Back again. Uh, I'm out for a cheeky wild camp. Uh, I'm on the, the moors in the glorious Peak District. It's an absolutely cracking day. Um, sun's out. It's sort of about two o'clock now, so I've set off a little bit late. Um, I've hiked about a mile or so and uh, just trying to find a location for my next little wild camp. And uh, I'm on this moors and uh, I've been here before many many times but um, I'm after a new spot because I want to try out my new tent and uh, really go sort of uh, stealthy so yeah there's a few people darted about today but this is where I am I'm just stood there behind this boulder a bit more light because the sun is right behind and obviously it'd be too, be too bright but yeah just scanning the landscape uh, I am fancying that forest over there. Let me just zoom it. That's what I'm fancying. I've not been in it over in that area, so uh, I think I'll get a bit of go. And I'll be out of sight, out of mind. And that's exactly what I want from today or this evening. But uh, there's a few people dying about in a minute, but. It's a nice day, they're out for a walk. And uh, I can see someone, I think they're bouldering over there, I think. I can see like a yellow. There they are, there they are. Bouldering, that's called. So my new tent, if you're wondering, it's there, I'll show you in a bit. It's called a Snug Pack Ionosphere. And yeah. Trouble is, in the winter, it gets cold at night, so you end up having to take more gear. Um, that's about 15 kilos. But uh, I like to be comfortable, as you know. Right. So we'll get back in a bit when um, I'm near my location. Wind's getting up now, so I need a shelter spot. It's about 4 degrees today. But tonight it's going to drop down to minus. So, uh, let's be nice and cosy. See you in a bit. Well, after a bit of messing about, and a bit of effort, I finally found my spot. And what a great spot this is. Awesome. Um, private, secluded. But yeah, great spot this. So up on like a ridge. And a lot of this is all fenced off now. But I didn't want to come in anywhere, I'm not supposed to, but it's got a gate on it. And the ground's flat. A little stream just over there, I don't need any more water leading down to this river which I know is Burbage Brook but this is the view and yeah right in the distance there's people going to get set up now uh, most important thing there's no widow makers a bit of a breeze getting up so I'm going to Get a perfect spot for putting it, I think. I mean, there is evidence that um, it has been used for a spot of wild camping in the past. I mean, that kind of gives it away, doesn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, cracking spot. Most importantly, no widow makers. Look at the view over there. But yeah, it's getting dark now, so I need to quickly get set up. Bit of breeze, but fairly well sheltered on either side. Ish. Right, let's crack on. So I just pegged down the, uh, they call it the mosquito net section. 
So it's called the Snug Pack Ionosphere. It's getting a bit dark now, so I'll just quickly have to show you. So that's your first bit you put down. I guess in the summer months, just use that. It's a uh, no see them, they call it. it means mozzies can't get in. But dead easy to peg down. Nice sort of uh, bathtub at the bottom. I mean, I used it in the back garden the other week and it hammered it down that night. I was bone dry. The only difficulty is this bit here is where you get in. But once you're inside it, it's pretty cavernous. It's great. So I'm going to put the, uh, the fly sheet on and they just clip on on these pegs. Those pegs are trying to take them out. You have to wear gloves because they hurt your bloody hands. Right. So there we are. Quick and easy setup. Took me what? About ten minutes. Less than that, I think. Um, don't look right. Some of these are. Let's just do a, a bit of an adjustment. But yeah, don't look right at that end for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, yeah, dead easy to set up. Cavernous inside. I have to show you in a bit, but there's more room in there than actually what you think. So, loads of room to get all your gear in. What I might do is, uh, uh, I was going to put my tarp over the top, but it's not going to rain. I'm not going to bother, I don't think. Should be fine. Just need to sort this end out a little bit, I think, but apart from that, it's all right. Oh, it's great to be out, you know. Oof. I've um, put my phone on night mode, and uh, I'll ring the other half, Yvonne, up about eight o'clock. But just nice, just to get away. I'm going to have to do one for a bit, but uh, the weather's just been crap. And uh, nice break in the weather today for January. Uh, not too cold at the minute, but it's going to drop. And anyway, I'm just just glad to be out. I was going to do a bike one, but exhaust is still blowing a bit. Still got still got to fine tune that. Uh, but yeah, just wanted somewhere come in the car, park up safe, walk in, bit of a hike. You can't beat it. Just get yourself outdoors. Although uh, I'm going to be saying that, but I am in a forest. I'm wild camping in the forest again folks, of sorts, more like a plantation, so but it feels it feels nice here, it really does, it's a nice area, I love this spot, I love the whole area really, I mean in the distance I can hear slight voices but they can't see me, right so we'll get this gear in the tent and uh, before it goes too dark because it's starting to drop now. Oh. So the only trouble with um, you know wild camping this time of year is it gets dark really quick. So I'm going to film what I can. Uh, I'm cooking. I'm going to show you what I'm cooking. So I've just got a stove on at the minute. A bit more light on it. Water's boiling, and uh, just making a cup of tea. Still only fairly. It's only about six o'clock still, so. I got six hours really before midnight, and then it doesn't get light until eight o'clock in the morning. It's a long time in the dark, folks. So anyway, just grab me a cup of tea. Yeah, a long time in the dark. <laughs> For later, I've got uh, some fire logs. And what I've done, I've cut them in half. So they'll go in there, because uh, I can feel the temperatures dropping already. I'm just going to tell you what's on for tonight's tea. So this is what we're going to have. We're going to have uh, super noodles. And a nice little bottle of vino. Prince's mackerel fillet with like this Ruvon got I me, mean, it's like a um, seafood mix It's got like crayfish and bits of prawn Mango Rocket, oh my hands cold holding this bloody tripod 
uh, so I'm going to boil that up with the noodles which is a curry flavour chuck it all in nice little bit of wine lovely see how I've got my chair there see that loft insulation stuff so when you sat on it it throws heat back on your body it's brilliant so um, can't wait to get them logs going I'm glad I brought them they took out a lot of heat but I've been hanging on and hanging on as it is see come on watch zoom it is only still bloody seven o'clock ten to seven I can hear voices. Well, if there's other people about them, well, on the ridge, then uh, they're probably doing a bit of wild camping themselves. Right, so I keep having the light on and off, on and off, on and off, so I'm going to just stick with it. And uh, it's very hard to film yourself and stealth wild camp. <laughs> In fact, it's virtually impossible. Super noodles. Dead light, aren't they? No, oh, just chicken flavour. I thought it was curry. Never mind. for this. So what have we got? Uh, crayfish, mango, coconut chilli dressing. Shut this mackerel in first. This is it. Tomato sauce. Nice, this. That's nice and hot, that now. We'll add uh, this in. There's loads of it. You can see this. Uh, 
Oh, there's rice in it as well. I don't really want the rice, I just want the crayfish bit. A bit riced out at the minute. It's a really good job I don't want the rice in it. I'll show you why. Uh, so that's why folks. Always end up with some on the deck. Great. I'll clear it all up. Otherwise there'll be animals sniffing around. Yeah, and I'll put that sauce in as well, a bit of rocket. Mm -mm. Right, I'm just gonna get this um, fire log going now. Because it's getting bloody chilly. I don't know what they'll do. I think I'll just do one. I'm supposed to light both ends, but never mind. <laughs> there we go. Campfire TV. And the beauty of these fire logs is. <coughs> You can have a nice controlled little fire and yeah I've cut them in half so the other half I'm going to save for a bit of warmth in the morning because I reckon I'll need it well, I've got my stove <coughs> and loads of people ask me about this stove it's called a Unigear folding stove and uh, I've had it some years and use it in different ways you saw me there having like the uh, <coughs> using it with the um, my little uh, burner but you could put charcoal in you could put whatever you want into this but I've got like uh, one of the screens just throwing a little bit of heat back but the most important thing is if you look where it is warming my feet up um, I do not want in any way shape or form to have a fire on the ground because especially if people, yeah now it's been raining and everything but if you dig a fire or whatever then you can run the risk of um, burning like underground and I don't want that so nice and sensible little half a fire log keep you warm, a little bit of campfire telling you can do a bit of cooking on that as long as you've got a bigger pan you just got to watch the fumes so but yeah brilliant keeping me warm so it's <coughs> boiling up a bit of water and uh, a bit of galaxy hot chocolate and the other half you see there got me a new flask mine broke so thanks for the present Yvonne a wee dram on me kiss <laughs> not got whiskey in it though I've got um I forgot in it uh, a little bit of cracking so a bit of cracking with some galaxy Boiling the water up. Oh. Cheers. Oh. Crack and rum and hot chocolate. Well, I'm just sat <coughs> wondering about calling it a night or putting another log on. It's about half nine now. But it means it's a bloody long night lying on my ass in the tent, if you know what I mean. I think I'll put another log on. But if it's cold in the morning, <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. You know, folks, if you, um, I hope you can see me alright. <clears throat> if you fancy doing something like this, just do it. 
you can't be, what are you going to be doing, sat in front of the telly or you could be sat in front of a little uh, little log fire in the middle of a dark wood on your own <laughs> do you know what it just shows you the difference in location round here is brilliant love it nice spot really relaxed um, that's what it's all about my face looks a bit spooky doesn't it so I've seen a bit when I'm back in the tent all snug and warm right well I'm in my tent and uh, it's dead cosy in here uh, but also as well there's a little bit of airflow coming through which is what I like about it the only downside to it is it's a bit of a bugger to get and you kind of have to well, I have to go in I have to kind of like um, go in backwards take your shoes off and then just step in backwards but once you're in it's not bad uh, plenty of room inside enjoyed it uh, cracking spot um, it's time you're on now half past ten so I'm going to get some shut eye uh, it's, it comes light again at what half eight so long night I say again the only trouble with um, wild camping in the winter is you spend a lot of time in the darkness and again I came out a bit late really so did most of me filming in the dark probably not the way forwards but the uh, thing is when you're trying to be a bit stealthy in the area that you are you don't want to come too early it's a trade off really isn't it but yeah I really enjoyed it and I uh, hope you have too so in the morning we're just going to have a quick get, get another fire log just to keep warm I can remember where I've put it uh, and then uh, quick coffee quick coffee and a little bit of something to eat and then we'll head on back and uh, I think the guy at the Fox House Inn said that uh, breakfast starts at half eight so I'm going to have a full English which I've not had for a long while <laughs> right so I'll get some warm socks on get tucked up in my sleeping bag I even took my big jacket off so I think I'm going to be pretty warm tonight even though it said it's going to get down to about zero but I'll be cosy I'll be cosy if not then I've got other things I can put on right so I shall catch you in the morning all the best <clears throat> oh. well good morning just before sunrise uh, it was cold last night uh, I've slept in this and my sleeping bag I needed it <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, great night. I slept well. Um, I had calm, peaceful. Could hear a bit, bit of the uh, the wind going off. But yeah, brilliant. So I'm just looking at the the sun coming up over there. I'm gonna get a coffee on. Nice warm drink as well. And get all the little fire log going just to warm things up a bit. All right. Ah, fate. Well that up there is Higato Carl Walt Fort Last night <coughs> I think there was something but I think there's a uh, deer move through here The sun's come up now did see a light over there. Let's get back in now. Let's get that brew on. I'm gonna get it packed up. I was gonna use a fire log. But 
but yeah been impressed with that tent it is a little bit more drafty a little bit shall we say when uh, the other one that north fridge coal light <coughs> but uh, for lightness and ease of use absolutely fantastic that's the stuff that helps see the silvery stuff put that on the back of a camping chair as well just re reflects heat back on you oh that sun's lovely now okay brew time just left him out we we'll see how nothing no damage to the ground or anything like that that's what I don't want Protein banana grey, it's got that sun's in the eyes. And a banana. Healthy breakfast. These coffee bags are brilliant. Taylors. Nice rich roast. Oh, it's nice just to sit in the sun. Oh, get those vitamins. Coffee. Sun up. What could be better than this, folks? So you need to get out and try it, don't you really? I hear people that they say <clears throat> or you've inspired me to go and do wild camping, I'm re really pleased about that, I always, always, I always like that when people say that. So, talking of likes, um, I noticed the camera battery started to go and I've gone through two because of the cold weather and uh, my iPhone, I forgot the charger not that I use that that often now but it is easier than using what I'm using now this Canon G7X you have to pick about that quite a lot might get another iPhone I'm due one anyway as well as but um so anyway enough rambling on time to get back and yeah I'm on a little snacky breakfast but I think I might treat myself to a full English at the Fox House Inn or that pub down the road. Time's pressing on. So, make sure as always, if you do come out yourselves, leave absolutely no trace, which I'll show you in a second after I've cleared everything up. Um, and again, my videos, if you like them, please like, share, subscribe, uh, the usual stuff. And... Uh, big thumbs up it's only been a, a short one this one relatively set out too late really yesterday and then I say winter darkness and it, it gears itself to be out for a couple of days right folks enough rambling um, 
I'll see you on the next one. So hopefully bikes all fixed and up and ready. We've got a bit more light in the in the day, and uh, we'll get the bike out, and do a wild camping one. See you later. Bye bye. Remember to leave no trace, guys. Leave it exactly as you found it.